Hello all. So we are moving to the next problem. So far we have learned about the square lamina, the perspective view of square lamina, then a square prism. That square prism is placed behind the picture plane at a distance from the picture plane. Then a pendant prism which is touching the picture plane and then a cone which is piercing the picture plane and we have seen the difference in all the three perspective views right now we are moving to another problem where a rectangular prism is placed inclined to the ground okay the problem is draw the perspective view of a rectangular prism of 80 centimeter into 48 centimeter into 36 centimeter size lying on its 80 centimeter into 48 centimeter rectangular face on the ground plane with a vertical edge touching the picture plane and the end faces inclined at 45 degree with the picture plane the station point is 45 centimeter in front of the picture plane 64 centimeter above the ground plane and it lies in a center plane which passes through the center of the prism this is the question so, so 80 into 48 into 36 size of a rectangular prism so suppose if this is that rectangular prism this is 48 this is 36 and this length is 80 so a rectangular prism of 48 into 36 into length 80 is resting on the ground in such a way that it's a rectangular face rectangular face of 80 into 48 is resting on the ground with one of its base edges touching the picture plane right so it is resting on its 48 into 80 mm side on the ground with its vertical edge touching the picture plane okay and the end face is inclined at 45 degree with the picture plane so this is a rectangular prism this is 48 this is 36 and this is 80 is resting on the ground on its 80 into 48 rectangular side that means this side 80 into 48 rectangular side on the ground with a vertical edge touching the picture plane and the end face that can be taken as either this one or this one because this is 45 degree so the end face is inclined at an angle 45 degree which means in the top view you can see like this this angle will be 45 degree and it is resting on its 80 into 48 side so if this is your picture plane this will be lying like this right this is its 48 side this is its 80 side and this height is 36 side and the end base is inclined at an angle means this inclination will be 45 degree so in that manner we have to draw the top view first if this is the point which are touching the picture plane from that at an inclination of 45 degree this is 48 and this is 8 So this is the top view, we can name this as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H, here O1, here O2 and this is the axis. Now it is given that uh, the station point is 64 from the ground plane and 45 64 above the ground plane and 45 in front of the ground plane so the distance between the picture plane and the ground line should be 64 plus 45 105 109 that is uh, you, we can take the distance more than 109 so in that manner we can draw the ground line and with that ground line we can project these points
and uh, this height should be 36 in the front view the front view you can see this height in the front view you can see this uh, 36 height so with that height 36 as we are observing from here this base will be visible and this base will be invisible now the important thing is uh, labeling this side see you can use your geometry box or something like that uh, and uh, this is a b c d like that we have marked okay so this is a b c d and the bottom point is e f g h so consider this portion this is a b and this is e f so this will be a this will be b this will be e and this will be f i mean a dash b dash e dash f dash understood as we are observing from here this will be nearer so that will be here so with that with with a geometry box you can name this a b check this is a this is b this is f this is e so in the front view you can see this portion so this will be a dash b dash e dash and f dash similarly we can mark this as c dash d dash h dash and g dash this is o1 dash and this is o2 dash this is the most important portion in this question because once you obtain the once you obtain the orthography projection then only you can go for the perspective projection and the labeling also should be correct otherwise we cannot obtain the corresponding perspective projection so we have completed the top view and the front view this is an axis actually now we have to look at the central plane right so it is given that uh, the central plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis right so this is the axis o1 o2 so this will be its midpoint so draw a plane so that uh, that plane will be the central plane and it is also given that uh, the station point is 64 above the ground plane so this is 30 32 36 effect so somewhere here it will be sp dash and 45 in front of so here it will be sp so this is sp and this is sp dash okay so what will be the next step as the point A and E are touching the picture plane. Its perspective will be cap the corresponding A dash and E dash itself. So we have obtained capital A perspective capital A and capital E. Then connect SP with B and F so that you will get B1 and F1 connect sp with d and h so that this will be d1 h1 this will be c1 and g1 o11 o21 so all that points has been obtained now connect sp dash h dash sp dash f dash sp dash g dash sp dash e dash sp dash d dash sp dash c dash then sp dash b dash actually sp dash e dash is not needed then sp dash o2 dash and o1 dash completed now from e b1 draw a vertical line to locate b and e so this will be f and this will be b draw from here so this will be h this will be d from cg c1 g1 
So this will be C. This will be G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H all has been obtained. Now this base is a A, E, B, F. So A, E, F. This base is a D, H. Okay. As you are observing from here, see this uh, AEBF is nearer and this is farther. So this will be visible. This will be visible. This is invisible. So that is border as that is border. Those portions will be visible. Now F and G has connection. So F and G should be connected. F and G should be connected, then G and H should be connected. So this will be invisible, this will be invisible, B and C has connection. So this will be invisible, this will be visible, E and H will be visible. Similarly, you, we can locate the axis also. Now this height is 36. It is 48. This is 80. Sixty-four. This angle is 45 degrees. So I hope all of you have understood this question. Thank you.